let's store UTM parameters in cookies using Google Tag Manager. To start, let's move to the to the repository link below that holds the script that you will load in a custom HTML tag. So I'm going to copy all this. Then I will go to the Tag Manager container that I want to use. I will create a new tag. And we will select a custom HTML tag. Let's paste this. All right, and let's name this UTM in cookies or name it whatever you want. And let's, for the moment, we are going to use a, an old pages uh, trigger, then we will modify that a little bit. But for the moment, let's um, let's explore what is the, con the content of this container. So in this part, first we have an ify function, and afterward we have the code that hand the function that handles the logic of the cookie. Then we have some variables that get the root domain of the website where this code will be deployed. In this way, you will get guarantee the cookies you create are first party cookies and not third party cookies. As you know, that that can be a problem for a, a, a tracking setup. After that, we have the code that set the cookies and we have here below the, the set cookie expression that pass uh, the cookie value name. In this case, we have a cookie for UTM source, UTM campaign, UTM medium, UTM content, and so on. Also, See this, this is really interesting. What is this? This is a this value within brackets is a GTM variable. So we are going to use a URL variable from GTM to gather the query parameter from the URL. Another interesting thing in this code is that you can modify the days you want to keep this these cookies. So I have seven days by default. You can modify that accordingly. All right. So at the moment, until the moment, we are not ready yet. We have to create these URL variables within GTM. So you have to do that in your in your place. So how we will create that? Let's first. I'm going to copy this name. Let's move to variables. Oh, I haven't saved. Don't forget to save. All right, let's save this. Now let's move to variables. Then, then you will move to the use defined variables. I already have this created, but let's create one from scratch. So I'm going to paste the variable name, and you will select the URL variable type. After that, did you query? So you will pick with this variable only the elements that are within the query structure of the URL. And now we will pay, uh, type the valid the query parameter that we want to track. In this case, is UTM source. All right. Furthermore, we will set this to. We will add that in case uh, uh, of, uh, of a value that does is not in lowercase or is in uppercase, let's standardize everything in lowercase. All right, let's click save. But as I already have a value with this name, it's not possible. So you have to create the same for all of the, all, all of the query parameters that you want to use. All right, so yeah, basically these are the same structure. So anything to add here. As soon as you have these variables created, you can start the preview session. If you have, if you don't create these variables, it will stop the, the preview session. So you, uh, always remember that. If you don't remember that, Tag Manager will remember that to you. So let's start um, to test this. I will use um, a LinkedIn, my LinkedIn profile 
actually let me close this and let's start the preview mode and I think that the URL I have the URL I run here all right that's my my LinkedIn profile and I also paste here some te some UTM values for tenses purposes. So we have UTM medium, test, UTM campaign. Test. These are just placeholders. And you usually and you I recommend you to uh, to you to use the same uh, testing uh, example. So you you know that this is working. We are going to test right now if this code work. All right. By the way, you may be wondering how I am deploying Google Tag Manager in LinkedIn. So I'm using this plugin extension that is called Adsverve. It, it, it allows us to inject GTN containers on any page. So any, all everything that is happening in this, in this website is happening only on my device, only in my browser. So that's why that's the way how, uh, um, with this tool you can inject GTN containers, containers in any page for testing purposes. And this, this is very useful when you don't you don't have access to a UTM container or uh, to a GTM container from a website. All right, but let's test if these variables is this cookie were created. So I'm going to uh, make a right click in the screen and open the the Google Devel Developer Console. After that, you will move to the Application tab. Let's zoom this a little bit. You will go to Cookies and then you will type here UTM. As you can see, the code was successful, right? We have UTM turn cookie, test, 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 test. And also if you explore this, you will see that the cookies are first party cookies. Now, what can you do with this? So this, this setup is really useful if you want to preserve uh, the UTM parameters value across a session, or if you want to inject these values within a form submission, so you can send to your CRM the the the, fir the first UT the UTM source the medium from that session, of if you want to keep that for net for net session. All right, so let's talk about a little bit how how will you use this. So you can create a new bar new variables for each uh, UTM parameter. So let's create a new UTM parameter here. I'm going to name this UTM source cookie. Cookie. And we will select first party cookie, all right? UTM and the name of the cookie. And you will place here the name of the cookie. Okay, UTM source. Let's save that. And let's restart the preview awesome so let's say let's let's check the tag assistant and let's go to the variables tab here and let's find the UTM source cookie okay so Unknown defined variable. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is this was planned. This is a part of showing you how to debug this. Okay, bear with me. So it is not recognizing the the bar, the cookie. Let's see why that should be happening. And the reason is that the name is bad, right? So is UTM source cookie actually? As mentioned, this was really, really planned. <laughs> All right, so let's update this. And let me change, update the cookie here. So let's add the name. Oh, sorry. So it's UTM source cookie, right? Let's double check. UTM source cookie. Awesome. All right, I'm going to save this, roll the preview mode again, and let's see what's happening. All right, so let's 
fine again return and bingo we have the UTM source cookie test so as as soon you have this as a variable you can move to another page and you can still keep the value because it's storing in a cookie what can you do with this so if you have a let's say we have a g tag and you want to preserve or you want to send a, let's say the parameter utm parameter here let's say actually the ideal is to do it with the g4 config so if you want to send that and force the UTM value first the first force the UTM value to GA you will paste here Let's put a source campaign source and we will put here UTM source cookie don't put the UTM URL variable because that variable only holds the value at the moment that the URL when the URL exists. So if a user moves to another page, the query parameters will disappear. So uh, be aware that you have to use the cookie. In this way, GTM can pull the cookie value on any other page. So in this way, what, how, how can, that can be useful? This setup can be useful in cases when you have a lot of redirects and in some sometimes redirects can rewrite the original UTM source and medium and or other UTM parameters. So this is a, a great option. Also, another use case is to send these UTM parameters to your CRM so you can have traceability uh, of the of the of the source of the traffic. Basically, these are the two cases that I see often that this setup is needed, but I'm sure that there are a lot of cases that you can use this, this knowledge. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on LinkedIn, on my LinkedIn profile. I wish you the best of the best on your tracking project and see you on the next video.